Hi friends, this is Susan Smith with Stamp Creatively and people ask how I come up with the color combinations for my cards and so I'm going to give you a quick little tip on how I do that. Stampin' Up! does a fabulous job of putting color families together for us and showing us what matches well. I can always pull out a piece of designer series paper and read on the back what colors something is and get a good idea but I also like to use these straight out of a magazine, just three paint cans that they put together. So I took our basic gray, our shaded spruce, and gorgeous gray, and I pulled out the positive um, thoughts, and we're going to do a little bit of creating. So I'm going to use it on very vanilla. I'm going to take my fern. And I like with the darker colors to stamp multiple times because I feel like I can um, get a, a variation of shades. And I like that. So I'm going to add the shaded spruce on there. This is your gorgeous grape. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to stamp a couple of shades of it on there. And then here is um, a feather that I've done. And I probably would have never put this color palette together. Okay, so I've added some of the gray on there. Now, once I get something like this done, I have to try to decide what colors I want to mount them on. Do I want to put it on the basic gray? Do I like it better on the shaded spruce or on the gorgeous grape? And that's hard to decide for me. Like, I think I'm going to start off with the basic gray. I'm going to put it right here. So it's just barely trimmed with the basic gray. I'm going to use this adorable little paper cutter. And so I've trimmed it real tight on the basic gray. Now I'm trying to decide which way I want to go. Gosh, I love that grape color. So I think what I'm going to do I'm going to get out my bigger paper cutter for this. And I'm going to cut this um, five and a quarter by four. And I might texture this and put a little texture on it. But I'm just gonna I'm just doing this for color right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and layer this on here. I really like this layer. Um, but one of the things that I wanted to do was I went ahead and stamped this on a piece of scrap and I want to layer that. And then I had this I ran this gray through. So I think I'm going to go ahead and layer these on here. It's not perfectly straight. Okay, so I'm going to put a little adhesive on this piece. Put it down here on the bottom. That's not perfectly straight either. I don't know who taught me how to stamp. And then I kind of want to put this on like this. I love ribbon. And I just happen to have some of the our pretty white tool polka dot that I dyed because we do love dyeing the ribbon. I'm gonna tie a nice big bow on here. My tool ribbon.
And we just, I just dye the ribbon with refill and water. I've been a demonstrator for 23 years, and the things we've dyed over the years, it's fantastic. I'm going to add some dimensionals to this. I want it to raise up just a little bit. Put it on here. And I want to add my pretty flower. And sometimes I really like having um, cards that don't have any sentiment on them. So I'm going to take my flower and I'm going to muscle it up just a little bit. going to raise it just so it's not flat because no flower is really flat. So I've taken my bone folder and just kind of rolled the edges a little bit. I'm going to put it on there so that it overlaps. So here's my card with my colors. So now, I, may, I think I just need a few embellishments. I hate to leave it without any. And I love these clear little, so let's put a little bubble on there. Now I think it looks like, one, it looks like our polka dot ribbon, and two, it reminds me of little raindrops. So I've added a, little, a few little embellishments on it. So in my tips from two to 10, here is your tip on how to pick out colors for your cards. Okay, thank you very much. Have a great day.